and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Fogate, and today, oh dear, we are talking about the top 10 scary ways that you are killing the earth. Is anyone else like kind of constantly amused by the drama drama titles of our videos like you're killing the earth? I am actually always amused by it. But I have to say that this is no laughing matter because we big bad humans are behaving very irresponsibly. Don't worry though, being aware of what we're doing wrong, we can tackle the bad behaviour and live more sustainable lives. One way to live more sustainably is by using apps like our video sponsor Buns. Buns is predominantly a trading app but it is also a great way to meet people in your community. At the moment I am trading an indoor plant on Buns as I would like to swap an old rose bush that doesn't really go with my decor for a palm tree or a succulent. I would also like to trade for more clothes so I can bring you more fabulous outfits here on Most Amazing without having to go and spend more on clothes and funding unsustainability. Fun fact for you guys, trading a t-shirt instead of buying a new one can actually save 2,700 litres of water which is pretty crazy when you think about how many t-shirts are in the world. Buns is a thriving trade community and we have a big community here in Toronto but you can download it wherever you are. If there's no one trading in your area yet, don't worry, you can be a community star and get the ball rolling. The more people that sign up, the more you will get to trade with. Now if you want to start swapping and meet new people today where you live, then download Buns in the description box and use at Rebecca Felgate, that's me, with no spaces as your referral. Also, if anyone wants a tree, let me know. Okay, scary ways, you are killing the planet, let's do this, take note. Coming in at number 10, we have using a straw. Plastic is a world ruiner. In history, 9 billion tonnes of plastic have been produced, but under 10% ever recycled, which means single use plastics are ending up in landfill. By 2050, the UN Environment Programme estimates that there will be 12 billion tonnes of plastic not only in landfill, but also littered in the ocean. Now, this also means damaging marine life on an epic scale. 12 billion tonnes, just to give you some perspective, is the weight of around a billion elephants, which is insane. Some research even suggests that by 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean by weight than actual marine life. They will eat it and they will die being unable to digest it or they will get stuck in it which is actually very concerning. Plastic straws are one of the worst culprits and super offensive because we legitimately don't need them. You don't need a straw to drink or most of us don't anyway. In 2015 a really horrifying video went viral in which a plastic straw was removed from the nose of a sea turtle. Now I am going to show you a clip but it isn't for the faint hearted so be warned. <laughs> No, it's a simple Oh man. That poor turtle is in pain. It's just so heartbreaking. Last year I bought a sustainable straw and I love it. I use it all the time. Coming into number nine, we have chopsticks. Similarly, in the East, especially, but also in other parts of the world, disposable chopsticks are causing massive issues and they simply aren't necessary. Who knew that when you eat delicious sushi or chow down on some chow mein with wooden chopsticks, that you're actually contributing to a massive issue? It seems that disposable chopsticks are a big cause of deforestation. Green people estimates that 4 million trees are culled each year in order to produce 57 billion disposable chopsticks. Not only that, the issue is threefold. The sticks are treated with chemicals that have been linked to respiratory issues and the sticks are reportedly produced in labour camps which is a massive human rights issue of its very own. We will talk more about deforestation throughout this video but it isn't just bad because trees help turn poisonous carbon dioxide into breathable oxygen which we need but also trees help with water cycles which prevents flooding. Cutting down trees can also create soil erosion, which can mean landslides. Maybe as well as having my sustainable straw, I need to get myself some reusable chopsticks. Coming into number 8, we have the Lynx Effect. Does anyone else remember the Lynx Effect advertisements of the 2000s? When I was a teenager, it was all about crushing on boys who used a whole bottle of Lynx Africa, meaning you could smell them coming from the science block a whole three minutes before they got up the field where you were gossiping with your scally mates. Also, us gals were defined by what blend of impulse our parents would buy us. Does anyone remember the Spice Girls impulse? I think it was called Viva Forever. Well, nice, nice. Can you smell that at home? Yes. It's really nice. Really nice smell, really nice bottle, really nice lid. Really, really nice. If I could smell that now, I am sure it would take me back. But 
But the point actually is, while we were dousing ourselves in full canisters of Charlie Red and while the boys were setting fire to plumes of lynx, we were actually playing havoc with mother nature and we didn't know it. Aerosols are awful and we're talking spray deodorant, hairspray and also particles from exhausts. It seems that aerosols disrupt the climate by scattering light. Now according to NASA, aerosols are thought to suppress precipitation because the particles decrease the size of water droplets in clouds. Under some environmental conditions however, aerosols can lead to taller clouds that are more likely to produce lightning and strong downpours. Basically, it's messing with the whole thing. Meteorologists have even detected a cycle in which the frequency of thunderstorms is connected to midweek peaks in aerosol emissions. The long and short of it is, is that they are unnatural particles that we are throwing into the air and by and large they are unnecessary. Sorry Lynx Africa boys. I'm just not that into you. Next up we have Big Macs. Big Mac, Little Mac, cardboard box. Actually though, to be honest with you, meat consumption is a big issue and not to be joked about. I'm not saying that you need to give up meat entirely, but eating meat every day is not necessary and corporate farming is pretty awful for the environment. To quote one green planet, many acres of rainforest are cleared to grow soy crops and grains to feed cattle, and overgrazing of cattle is a major reason for global soil depletion and source of climate pollution. New research even shows that going without meat and dairy consumption, global farming land could actually be reduced by more than 75%, then this is an area equivalent to the US, China, European Union and Australia combined, and it could still feed the world. I don't want to be a preacher because lord knows I've done things that are bad for the environment in my time, but I want to share my own relationship with meat, so like by and large I am vegetarian, but sometimes once or twice a month I will eat sustainably sourced meat and treat it as well, a treat because it should be. Knowing what goes into your food can give you a finer appreciation of what the cost for value is, what you're eating. I love supporting local farm to table businesses and I also love the way eating less meat feels in my body. Once again, I'm not saying stop, I'm just saying think about how much you actually need. Next up, we have coffee. Now, I scripted this video whilst drinking a coffee. I need coffee, especially around 10 a.m. in the morning when I start to flag. Coffee itself isn't really the issue, it's how we're consuming it that is. One, take away coffee cups. They are not legit. I only found out a few months ago that most coffee cups are not recyclable. While they look like they're made from paper, they're actually plastic coated, which means they go into landfill. You have to separate the plastic lids from the cups if you are going to recycle the lids. The lid can be recycled, but the more complex cups can't. 500 billion plastic lined coffee cups are produced every year. Now, the cup is one issue. The Nespresso issue is entirely another. Nespresso machines and Keurig machines basically all coffee pod machines, are contributing to unrecyclable waste in a major way. It seems that 29% of all US households have a coffee machine, which actually means the problem is very vast. Former Nespresso CEO Jean-Paul Galliard is very regretful of the invention of such a damaging product. So how can you help? A reusable coffee cup instead of getting a disposable one is absolutely going to help, and also using a French press instead of a coffee machine will be very, very helpful. Next up we have leaving the lights on. So I'm scripting this video on Earth Day as it so happens. Often on this day and during Earth Hour, big landmarks turn off their lights for the evening. Now this is a show of solidarity to mark our commitment to doing better when it comes to sustainable practices and irresponsible energy consumption. Not only is leaving lights on affecting your energy bill, it is also affecting planet Earth. Why? Well electricity is generated at power stations by burning fossil fuels that pollute the atmosphere with carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, as we know, is a key factor in global warming. Luckily these days we are finding ways to create renewable energy, but the amount of energy harvested from a wind farm or a solar panel is much less than gained from unsustainable power plants. If we turned the lights off while we weren't using them, this would greatly help reduce emissions. Switch it off. Like a light switch, Book of Mormon anyone? Good. Next up we have driving alone. There is soon to be 2 billion cars on the world's roads, which is pretty insane. This will mean that most of the world's adult population who can drive will own a car. The issue is though that cars emit greenhouse gases both while they're being built and more so while they're being driven. Cars expose humans to nitrogen oxide and sulfur oxide, which reduces lung function, and they also increase fine particle matter, so smog, which is also bad for health and the planet. 
planet. The creation of roads has also worked to destroy a lot of wildlife too. Now I totally understand that we are a moving population, we need to get from A to B. I love travelling, most of us need to get to work, but the most irresponsible way to travel frequently is by yourself in a car. Carpooling can dramatically reduce emissions and increase global health. Do you need to drive? Could you walk, bike or take the bus? If so then maybe you could do because all of these things do reduce the amount of cars on the road and poisonous gas in the sky. Maybe you could ride share with your buns mates. Coming in at number 3 we have want want want. Hyper consumerism is killing us. Making things uses energy. Factories are huge polluters. Buying new clothes all the time to keep up with trends, buying new phones each time Apple release a new product, buying new computers or new cars. The cost of want 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 in our society is choking us, literally. Hyperconsumerism leads absolutely directly to over extraction of minerals, more waste, more pollution and deforestation. Beyond that we are wasteful when it comes to food too. We buy more food than we need and we often throw it away which is absolutely insane when you think about actually there are starving nations out there. Buying things that we don't need is careless and damaging. Next time you want to keep up with the Joneses, instead of always buying new threads or a new phone why don't you swap your wardrobe with your friends. This brings us back to our video sponsor Buns, trading something you don't want for something you do feels amazing and free. Your bank account will thank you and the earth would too if it could talk. Maybe it can. It'd be spooky but cool. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Coming in at number two, ah, the big one, we have making more humans. Do you want to raise the next generation of humans? That's cute, but humans are basically ruining everything. The world's 7.6 billion people represent just 0.01% of all living things, but that being said, humanity has caused the loss of 83% of all wild mammals and half of all the plants in the world. In my life, Time, the population of humans on earth has increased by almost 50%. It's suspected humanity will reach population 10 billion at some point in our foreseeable timeline, likely by the year 2050. Now at this point on the list you'll see all of the issues here are as a result of humans. Humans are small but collectively they are mighty, and that can be in a good way but also in a bad. The more humans there are, the more mouths there are to feed, the more farming will need to be done, leading to deforestation and all of the drama that comes along with that. If we're creating more humans, humans and being unsustainable, we have a big problem. More humans means more electricity consumption and more cars on the road which means more poisonous emissions in the air. And worryingly for us, more humans means more bodies to spread diseases. So humans are the real issue yes, but this is the most amazing top 10 video and you know how this goes. We have gone for a shocker number 1 for the headlines even though it's at the end of the video. Coming into number 1, the scary thing that you're doing that is killing the earth, that is glitter. Stop glittering. It's a shame because actually I love a good sparkle but it seems that glitter is killing the earth. All that glitters is absolutely not golden. Glitter gets everywhere including the ocean. Now glitter is made of microplastics and these microplastics end up in the sea which then get eaten by fish which is killing them off. Apparently a third of all fish caught in the English channel have been poisoned by glitter. Now the good news is if you love glitter like me you can buy sustainable glitter so not made with the microplastics and that is definitely a way in which you can help. So guys what a list, I hope it's been educational for you, that was the top 10 scary ways that you are killing the earth. Once again you can help contribute to living a more sustainable life by downloading apps like Buns. Buns is a trading app which means you can swap something you don't want for something that you do and again there's our fun fact about swapping a t-shirt rather than buying a new one, you can save 2700 litres of water which is something that I didn't know until I was scripting this video which does make me think a bit more about what I could be doing to help. Do download Buns, we've got a link in the description and don't forget to use me at Rebecca Felgate as your referral. If you like this video please do show me by giving it a good thumbs up, tell me if you want a tree, share this video with a friend, I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and I'll see you guys soon, bye!